gosh, they're coming. Yeah, oh, I gotta get to the tracker. The whole pack is coming. Yeah, ah, get in here and shut the door. Ah! <laughs> Bandit and I really want to thank you for watching our video today. And we also want to be able to thank you for subscribing and clicking the bell. So please do that too. And then let's go have some fun as we explore some coyote dens out in the desert. Woohoo! Holy smoke! We got 50 mile an hour gusts here. Yabba dabba, oh no, <laughs> it is cold here and windy. Wind gusts uh, around 40 miles an hour down to 37 degrees last night. And it is, <laughs> it has changed a lot in the last couple of days. So Bandit and I are going to pull out of here, standard wash, and we're going to try to find a place where it's a little less windy at least. <laughs> at uh, standard wash and it's time to find a new spot besides that I'm almost out of propane and I'm uh, low enough in my gas tank that my generator is not working right now it's not uh, a water system I guess maybe just the, the blue uh, cans the blue water cans at Walmart I've got two of them I might get one more and uh, it's going to be my water till I can get back home and uh, get the insurance uh, job to uh, finish uh, to do the uh, repair on my RV. But right now, right now there's a uh, there's a place that I've been wanting to go to that I've seen through my binoculars and. Actually, Bandit and I uh, walked over there kind of close to it, or closer anyway, and it looks to me like it's uh, a coyote den. So we're going to go over there and uh, check that out and shoot some video maybe and uh, see what's going on with that place. Uh, it's probably a mile away from here out in the middle of the desert, so uh, it'll be kind of an adventure. <laughs> going to take the tracker and uh, see how it's performing. And so, let's go! <laughs> so, here we go! Let's go uh, check out the coyote den! yabba dabba <laughs> I'll tell you what, that windshield is really dirty. Tracker been sitting out here for a few days in the uh, Arizona wind and the dust flying and accumulating. I gotta get out and clean that windshield out before I get too far. Ah, there, that's better. <laughs> Man, it is cold out there. I just about froze my tushy off. Woo! This is a little bit steep. <laughs> but the tracker handled it. Just fine. Good tracker. Oh, this is a little bit steep too. <laughs> but it's downhill. <laughs> so it's a lot, a lot easier than uphill. <laughs> Still got to be under control though. Big ditch. Oh, a little ditch. Oh, look at that. We are right next to the highway here, as you can probably see, and we've got to get more out into the desert, so let's go here.
Oh my goodness. Look what we've got here. Oh, that's a big waterway right there. A big, uh, a big wash. A little wash, really, but uh, for going across this, uh, going across this desert, it's uh, going down this road. It's kind of big. So let's look over here, and uh, maybe you can see that. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see that uh, lighter brown cliff area over there. Uh, I've seen what looks to be like uh, caves in the side of that, which are likely coyote dens. So let's go take a look. <laughs> no road here. We're just uh, driving through the desert, trying to get uh, a little bit closer up to those cliffs and maybe coyote dens. Whoa! Uh -oh. Little scrape. But I've got this rhino lining on the sides of the tracker, so hopefully it will prevent any major scratches in the paint. Here's the terrain that we're driving through. And I just followed this uh, ridge line here that I'm on. And I come upon this wash. You can you can see uh, it's kind of broad, and you can see you can see over here. There's uh, there's no road. It's just uh, down the hillside of the desert. So rather than go back and try to find a road and try to find the beginning of the wash and pick my way up it. I'm going to just go straight down. <laughs> Yabba dabba doo! That big rock right there is something that I definitely want to miss. <laughs> Uh, we're down traveling on the super highway of the desert. <laughs> uh, part of standard wash. For those of you that don't do much 4x4 four four traveling, the washes are the freeways of the floor of the desert. Very often it's the easiest and best way to get from point A to point B. Glad I've got these brand new all-terrain tires on here, going through those ranches back there and going over some of these somewhat pointy rocks. Gives me a little more confidence that uh, I'll make it through okay. <laughs> Well, there are those caves that I saw from a distance. We're getting closer. This is the closest I've been so far. Let's see if I can't zoom in a little bit there. This camera, whenever I get to maximum zoom, it just kind of uh, goes out of focus. 
Anyway, it looks like there's at least one pretty good-sized cave there off to the uh, left. It's got a gash coming down in the hill where coyotes could uh, have easier access getting up to in and out of it. So, um, hmm, I think that's a good possibility. Then there's a little more of a diagonal gash just to the right. And uh, looks to me like that might be a secondary entrance into a den system back there. Let's get a little bit closer and uh, see if we can get a good view and see if we can find out a little bit more if it's really a coyote uh, den or not. <laughs> Traveling down this wash, we come right up on this sandstone rock wall here. The wash goes right beside it. Kind of an interesting uh, route to travel. Interesting view. Well, this is it. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's a, a coyote den up there or not. I, I really can't tell from here. Maybe I'll have to climb up there and see. Well, I'm going to leave the door of the tracker open here. And uh, so if I've got to make a, a quick retreat, I can just jump right into uh, the tracker and and shut the door real quick. There's where I'm going. That biggest uh, hole is a dead end with the one to the left that's uh, horizontal, a little more horizontal. It goes in really deep. Let me zoom in just a little bit more on it. I uh, I looked at it with my uh, 10 power binoculars, so I've got a pretty good idea of, of what's up there. Uh, the, uh, the camera only has a four power telephoto lens on it, so it's not, uh, doesn't get you in quite as, as close. But the, uh, the gash that is a little more horizontal there, it is, it has uh, one hole to its uh, upper left that uh, goes in real deep. And then there are a number of holes over here, holes, cave entrances, holes in the side of this cliff that uh, I just uh, have not seen before. Uh, they're, they're smaller, don't have as big a scar on the face of the cliff. And, and so uh, I'm not, I wasn't uh, aware that they were even there. But putting the binoculars on them, they go really deep. It's not just uh, water erosion or wind erosion. Uh, this is definitely a coyote den here. They're coming! Yeah! Uh, I gotta get to the tracker. The whole pack is coming! Yeah! <laughs> ah! Get in here and shut the door! Ah! <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs> so one thing that I've learned about uh, coyotes is that they really don't frequent their dens much except during uh, the nurturing season after they've had uh, little pups. And so there's really uh, nothing here to see in the way of an actual animal. I don't know if they just lay under a bush at night out in the desert or exactly what they do. But uh, from what I've read, uh, they don't really uh, den up. They don't really use those 
dens at all uh, other than when they've got pups that they're nurturing. Uh, the den is a good good place, good way to protect it, I guess. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for our adventure for today and for our adventures at Standard Wash. We're pulling up stakes and we're headed into town to dump and do some errands and get some service work done in the tracker and then we're off to find a new place to camp. So, the only question I got now is, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, friends, for watching our video today. And now it's time to hit that subscribe button and click the bell. We're so glad that you came along. We're so appreciative of all of our subscribers and viewers. Thanks so much. What's next?